Hey, Greg. Can I uh, borrow your lawnmower today? What happened to your lawnmower? Uh, nothing. Oh, I get it. You've taken Mooch into a whole new level. You're borrowing things you actually own. Well, congratulations. You can borrow a trophy on the way out. I can't use mine, okay? Why not? I can't say. Is this a question of secrecy or just a limited vocabulary? Look, if I tell you why, you're just gonna make fun of me. Tell me, Jimmy, please, tell me. All right, fine, look. I can't use mine because I took the blades off. I'm souping it up so I can race my lawnmower in an amateur lawnmower racing competition. Jimmy, you make it so easy. Pit crew? Looks like you're doing a great job. Wow, Jimmy, this is really coming along. So where are you gonna put the Playboy mud flaps? There's no Playboy mud flaps, Greg. There's no Confederate flag. There's no get her done bumper sticker. Hey, you know what? We should get a get her done bumper sticker. What the hell is get her done? It's only the comedy catchphrase that's sweeping the nation. It's gonna last forever. You know, like Nanu Nanu or uh, what you talking about, Willis? You know what? We should get a Nano Nano bumper sticker, too. I'm not even sure they allow bumper stickers. You know, I'm trying to do everything in accordance with league regulations, and they're actually pretty strict. They don't just allow anything to just go on out there. Oh, I see that. Rifles allowed for rodent control only. <laughs> Shirts and shoes must be worn at all times. Oh, crap. Are tank tops okay? Not for you. <laughs> You know, Greg, I know this is a big joke to you, but Billy and I, we've always dreamed about racing stock cars. Really? I thought your dream was to live in a Baskin Robbins. <laughs> That's where we would return home after a long day of racing stock cars. Yeah, cars are too damn expensive, but with these, all you need is an old mower and a little mechanical know-how. Yeah, and Jimmy is a mechanical genius. The other day, he figured out how to fasten a fire extinguisher to the back of an office chair. Nobody thought it would work, but I lifted off and I was airborne for seven seconds. All right, Sammy, you ready to go play miniature golf? I don't want to play miniature golf. Really? You said you did last week. I want to stay here. Well, come on, Sam. We're going to go putt the ball to the big windmill, and if we put it in the clown's nose at the end, we get a free game. Come on, Sam, let's go have snow cones and churros. All right, oh, you're not coming. I guess I have to go all by myself. Well, I mean, if you're gonna go by yourself. I'm not going all by myself. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought you were gonna take Sammy for miniature golf. Well, I mean, your golf. Nah, he's staying over at Jimmy's. Are you okay with that? Whatever. You were just saying you wanted to spend more time with Sammy. Well, what am I supposed to do, Kim? Jimmy's over there winging around lawnmower blades like Jackie Chan with a pair of nunchucks. <laughs> I'd have to twirl a flaming baton to get his attention. You're not gonna go get your batons, are you? I guess not. I guess we can go play mini golf tomorrow. Oh, we can't. We're going to Bakersfield to watch Jimmy's race. We're going to Bakersfield? Well, I thought it'd be fun for the family. Oh, yeah, that's exactly the kind of father-son time I envision, traveling five hours through the Central Valley. <laughs> What's that, Daddy? Oh, that's a meth lab, son. Um, and I told Sammy he could ride in Jimmy's car with the rest of the pit crew. I'm getting my baton. Hey, Sammy, how was your drive up? Good. You know what you missed in our car? We put in a DVD and spent two hours in the 100-acre wood with Mr. Winnie the Pooh. We had a burping contest. <laughs> I won. Now, when I thought about the kind of women I was gonna see up here today, I didn't think it was gonna be like this. <laughs> Most of them aren't very attractive. Or clean. I bet you half of them are drunk. I know. I got a shot. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, correct.
Correction, Kim. Out here, I am the officer of the law. I wish I had the right to remain home. <laughs> hey, guys, you ready for the big race? Yeah! All right, now, we are going to do great today. And you want to know why? Because your hard work. I wouldn't be here without you guys. And if we win, I want you to join me in the winner's circle and take a picture with the trophy. Yeah! Everybody, I'd like you to meet Lulu. <laughs> Hello. Ah. <laughs> Lulu helped set up all these bleachers. Really? Yep. So when the races are over, do you help break them down and put them into storage or something? Yep. <laughs> Isn't she great? <laughs> you guys mind if we sit with you for the race? Of course. Yeah, we, we were going to sit up at the top, you know, so the kids could see everything. You don't want to sit up top. We don't? You didn't hear what happened in Fresno? We'll sit at the bottom. <laughs> Mommy, I'm scared. Me too. Kim, Kim, make sure that's yours. Oh, sorry, I picked up your espresso by mistake. Yeah, it's not espresso. <laughs> oh. Knowing you, I'm surprised you didn't let me drink it. Well, I thought about it. <laughs> but, you know, I figured 100 degrees, all these gas fumes, if you'd have thrown up, it would have started a whole chain reaction. Jim, Sam won't even sit with me. Oh, he wants to be with his cousins. They're the pit crew. Hey, Sam. <laughs> Lulu. Uh -huh. yeah, I wouldn't lean on that. Isn't she great? Yeah, just great. Could this get any worse? all gonna be over in a couple of hours. Not if he wins. If he wins, Sam's gonna wanna be on the pit crew forever. Shh, the race is about to start. On your marks, get set, move! <laughs> Because he's too far behind. I can't believe it. Is he gonna get lapped? Yep. And there's the mud in his face. <laughs> Going. I can't tell you how many nights I've stared at the ceiling wondering that same thing. <laughs> the last driver, please clear the track so the next race can begin. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I guess I was kidding myself anyways. I mean, did you see the guy who won? He must have put thousands of dollars into that mower. It had all the latest high-tech parts. Yet his wife is walking around with a peg leg that says Louisville Slugger on it. But it's okay. I'm just glad I got the best pit crew in the business. But we lost. Well, it all depends on how you look at it. I mean, if you play the race back in reverse... We got a giant head start and we tied. <laughs> hey, Sam, you want to go play mini golf next week? I don't want to play mini golf. Well, we can do whatever you want to do, just you and me. I want to be in the winner's circle. Well, if you want to be in the winner's circle, let's go be in the winner's circle. Come on, Sam. Hey, moron, get out of there! Oh, well, maybe next week, Sam. <laughs> hey. Hey. So you putting the blades back on? You saw me out there, Greg. I finished so far behind, it was like I was going in slow-mo. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> what? You made a joke. Slow mo. <laughs> oh, slow mo. Great. 
I'm not even fast enough to get my own jokes. <laughs> so you're just gonna quit? Look, you know what, Greg? I thought I had a chance to do well at this because I'm a good driver and I'm a good mechanic. But more racing is just like everything else. The guy who spends the most money wins. Well, what if you had a sponsor? Who's gonna sponsor me? Molasses? <laughs> That's funny, you did it again. Mo Lastus. <laughs> Go home, Greg. Well, how about I sponsor you? What? I wanna sponsor you. <laughs> I don't know, man. I would feel weird taking money from you. Were the last five years just a dream? Yeah, but look, how many times did I take actual money from you? Were the first two years you lived out okay, here just... all right, all right. <laughs> look, why do you even want to do this? You think it's stupid. Well, I did think it was stupid till Sunday when I saw how disappointed Sammy was. Yeah, my kids were pretty upset, too. You really want to do this? I'd do anything to make Sam happy. So how much you need? How happy do you want to make him? <laughs> Guys, check out all this new stuff. This is a heavy-duty throttle cable, and this is an aluminum flywheel. This looks like the thing in Mommy's top drawer. <laughs> well, it isn't. This is an exhaust extension. Stay out of your mother's nightstand. <laughs> hey, Sammy, pretty cool stuff, huh? Yeah. You know who bought all this stuff? No. Your daddy. He and I are partners now. That's right, we're partners. Your uncle here is the driver and the head mechanic, and I'm like the team owner. What does the team owner do? The team owner pays for everything, and then he supervises. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> so, Jimmy, how are we looking? Ah, oh, great, man. This high-performance camshaft just came in, so by raising the valve lift so the fuel air... See, the owner, it... the owner doesn't have to deal with any of the boring details. <laughs> the cool thing is that we have a chance to win now because we have an owner. Yes, and a very talented driver and mechanic. Absolutely, but I think even the most talented driver and mechanic might come in last if he didn't have a good owner. No doubt about it, but hypothetically, a good owner will probably finish last without a good driver. Well, no question, but theoretically, I think a good owner could hire another driver. <laughs> uh, yes, this is true, but uh, just for argument's sake, I think a new driver might not want to work for an owner who doesn't appreciate new drivers. Are you guys going to fight? No, no, no we're, we're, we're partners. We're partners. <laughs> All right, guys, wait till you see this thing. I got a 20-horsepower V-twin on it now. I made a whole new front axle, separated the clutch and the brake. I'm telling you, this thing is faster than my car. Too bad you didn't have it 10 years ago. Dominic might have been born in a hospital. <laughs> wow, Jimmy, sounds like you really got your mole ready. Yeah, there's a few more things I gotta do to get it right. Just trying to make it as light as possible. Just trying to keep it as light as possible. Yeah. Every pound counts, huh? Exactly. Can you pass the rolls? Maybe you should pass on the rolls. What? We just said you're trying to keep the weight off the mower. You know, you and those rolls are going to be on the mower. <laughs> Come on, are you serious? Come on, Jimmy. As the team owner, I'm just trying to show the kids I've made a commitment to do whatever it takes to win. I mean, how about you? Where's your commitment? It's an excellent meal, Kim. Thank you for keeping my uh, eyes on the prize. And off the pies. <laughs> You're doing the right thing, buddy.
ready? Yeah, I just finished checking the fluids. I had to uh, add a little to the mower and subtract a little from the driver. <laughs> Look, I know no one is more prepared to win this thing than you are, and I know I've been hard on you, but I believe in you. I really do. And I know a damn race driver when I see one. All right, you watched Days of Thunder again last night, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Go out there and get them, big guy. Oh, one more thing. Bought your little pre-race gift. Greg. Dude, this is fantastic. Yeah, you don't think a good owner would let you drive without proper attire, do you? Warner Racing Team? Yep, and I got one for all the boys, too. How come my name isn't on it? What do you mean? It's right there. Oh, yeah, in the front pocket, like I pump gas or something. <laughs> hey, my name is Jim. Can I check your oil? <laughs> Did you check the oil? Forget it. Now. What is your problem? You know what? My problem is I'm an idiot. I never should have gone along with this, okay? You don't want to be partners. You just want to be my boss. Well, that's what an owner is, isn't it? I'm sorry, Jimmy, but that's how real life works. The person in charge is who you want to be. That's what I want my kid to learn. Yeah, well, I want my kids to learn that just because somebody has money doesn't mean you have to take their crap. Oh, go ahead, quit. Any idiot could drive one of these things. Hello, sir, good luck out there today. <laughs> This isn't so hard. A monkey could do this. Hey. Hey. Getting snacks for everybody? No. Nope. I'm not driving in the race, remember? Look, I know I've been acting like you couldn't do this without me, but the truth is I can't do this without you. I know I got a little carried away. It's just, I want Sammy to look at me the way he looks at you. Greg, you gotta understand, uh, he's seven years old. In a seven-year-old boy's eyes, I'm the coolest guy alive. I can make things that are loud and go fast. I can make milk shoot out of my nose. I can make milk shoot out of their nose. Heck, if I got a gold, please stop, zero. please stop. Yeah. Greg, you have the rest of their lives to impress them. You gotta have this, too? The race hasn't started yet. How do you feel about driving for the Hughes Warner racing team? Hughes Warner? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Just for my own information, would you have still done it if I had said the Warner Hughes racing team? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> You're Greg Biffle. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm Hot Rod Lincoln. <laughs> That's the name of a song. I I'm the world's biggest NASCAR fan. I saw you win in Fontana. You're number 16. You're Greg Biffle. What would the third-ranked NASCAR driver be doing out here in the middle of nowhere racing lawnmowers? Third rank. Yeah. Take it easy, pal. Only <laughs> well, third in points this year. Yeah, but Rusty Wallace is going to go by him soon, and Jeremy Mayfield's very hot right now. Yeah. We'll see who's going to go by me. I mean him. Shh. They don't allow professionals to race lawnmowers. What the hell are you doing out here? I love to race because this is real racing. It's not about politics or getting famous or fighting with your team owner. Yeah, don't be so sure. I just love to race, just like you. Are you going to turn me in? No. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> well, you're going to get a good view of it. Your marks. Get set. Move.
Nice driving, officer. Thanks. How about I get you in the Daytona 500? As a driver? No, mower. Have you seen the size of that infield? <laughs> Hey, Kim, you uh, want me to mow your backyard? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks, Jimmy. All done.